Good day to you ladies and gents. Just a quick short one for you today. I'm going to show you how you can improve the behaviour, potentially, uh, improve the behaviour of the attributes window. That bit down on the bottom right hand corner where you change all the settings for everything. I think I can show you a couple of buttons which will make it behave in a, in a nicer way. Now here's the issue, here's one of my problems with it. When you're working in your scene, you're adding in cubes and deformers and lights and all the rest of it, you usually want to look in the bottom right hand corner to get the settings for your object. Problem is, it doesn't always show what you want to see. And in particular, it very often shows you just the basic tools you're using, like move, scale and rotate. And that causes you to lose the object you're looking at. Now, a long time ago, many years ago, Cinema actually used to have two separate windows. One for the settings of objects and another one for the tool you have selected. What I'm actually going to do is resurrect this behaviour. You might prefer it. Um, the reason for doing this is, depending on how you work, depending on the tools you use, a lot of the time you spend adjusting settings for objects, you don't really spend quite so much time adjusting the settings for the tools. However, though, you do select those tools very often. So what happens is you end up with a, a lot of this stuff down in the corner, which you don't really change too much. Anyway, let me show you how you can uh, split this apart. If you go down to the mode menu of your attributes manager, these are all the different modes you can have. It can show you settings for objects, for tags, materials. It can show you all these different things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this attribute manager and split them. Okay, watch this. Um, this icon here, this little plus sign in a box, this will add a new attribute manager for us. So if you can click this. Right. Now the default behavior for this is to... To, to lock its view. The thinking is that if you ever click this add button, you want to lock the current view. So now, now no matter what I click on, this window stays locked. And that's because it's got this little, little padlock icon turned on. So first of all, get rid of this. Click it till it opens. There we go. Um, next, we need to tell it which modes it should actually work with. Now this main attributes window down here, I actually want to get rid of two things from this. One of them is optional, but one of them not so much. Click on the mode menu, and all the way down at the bottom, click configure modes. In here, I would like my main attributes window to no longer show me the tools. That's all of this stuff here. But this next bit, and this is really up to you, I also don't want it to show any materials because I always edit my materials in in the sort of special material window. If I, if I make a material, I don't want them to appear down here because I'm going to double click their icon and use the specific material editing window. So I never want to see them in a the corner. Now, of course, if you do use this, if you do use the materials in a corner, skip this bit. If not, if you're a bit like me and you use this big window here and don't care that they appear in a corner, follow this next step as well. Now, let's just nip back into our configure modes menu. Uh, but you'll also want to get rid of the material option. So we've disabled tools and materials for this particular window. So now, even when I select, even when I select a tool, this window stays the same. Even if I select a material, the window stays the same. Okay, so potentially this window will now show us a lot more of the tools we want to see all the time. Um, but let's see, we've got this separate attributes manager here. Um, now mine actually has the wrong name, it's not normally called Tool, it's normally called, let's just rename it back, it, it's normally called Attributes, like the other window is, but I've, I've already gone through this and tested it actually works. Um, so on this window we, we basically need to do the opposite, we need to go into this mode menu, down to configure modes, and we need to tell this particular window, just, just do the exact inverse, show me materials, but absolutely nothing else other than the tools I'm currently using. Although in this case, I don't actually want to see materials either. So I'm actually also going to get rid of this materials because I never want to see them in the attributes manager. So this window is now only showing me tools. Okay, um, 
you'll want to dock this into your interface somewhere. Now this depends on the screen size, the resolution, whether you're using a wide screen or a fairly square screen. Um, but put it somewhere where you can get to it. You can either dock it in with these items down here. Uh, you can give it its own window. Let, let me just quickly drag it in and show you. So this little teeny tiny mesh in the corner, this is the bit you need to drag. But if you drag that over here, and you won't see it as such, but just drop it in between these two tabs. So we've already got one attribute list, and we've got our layer system down there. I'm just going to drop it in the middle of them. So I now have a second attributes window, but I'd like to rename this so I can, I can keep track of which is which. Just right click on the tab, and down at the bottom choose rename. I can now say, ah, oh, this is my tools. And that can be it. I've now got one tab which shows me the attributes of whichever object I have, but not the tools. And if I do ever decide, oh, you know, I want to use soft selection or per object manipulation or snapping, all the rest of it, I've got another little tab here I can quickly jump into, change what I need to, and then back to my back to my attributes, which will never be interrupted with these tools. Um, if you find just if you find you've got a bigger resolution or a very wide screen, you know, feel free to pop it somewhere else. Uh, if I nudge this, I can drag the tab up here instead. Oh, if I drag it from the corner, I can. So I could dock that in there as an extra little uh, tools window. Or if I find I've got a very large material list, which you probably will if you've got a large 27-inch screen, which are getting wider and wider slowly, uh, feel free to drag this down over here, for example. Maybe pop it over there. So I've now got my normal attributes window, and I've got an extra little uh, tools section down here. Now keep in mind, this is not recorded with the highest resolution screen in the world, just to keep everything nice and visible. But if you're working at full HD or a nice 25, 2,500 pixel wide display or higher, new big screens with the retina displays, um, you should have plenty of space for this. So anyway, give that a go. Uh, you might find you like not having your attributes manager constantly interrupted with the move tool and the scale tool. Okay, that's it for me today.